Good morning, this is Alamon, and welcome back to Kingdom New Lands. We're on the fourth level, and uh, I hope that you're 18 or older, because today is Triple X. Let's continue. Now, I had a bit of a pause there. I think I mentioned at the end that, uh, getting messages from my wife. Uh, without getting into too much detail, the basic situation is just that, um... So my wife's kind of off for the summer. Nice wide open schedule. My schedule is less wide open. Because I teach um, at a university where I have three semesters. You know, I teach the fall semester, spring semester, and summer semester. And I get time off between them. And it's a pretty generous amount of time off. I mean, I have no complaints as far as that goes. That's definitely one of the big perks of being in the academic world, you get lots of time off, uh, as long as you're happy with taking it on those certain days, uh, between the semesters. Anyway, um, because it's a bit of a trip for her to see her parents, um, what we decided to do was for her to go a couple days earlier, um, so that she could have a little bit longer there. And even for me, I'm sort of technically, in theory, expected to uh, stay at my job until the weekend this week. Oh, yeah, you know what? I'm recording all these in advance. Today is um, Wednesday, August 10th, as I record. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to go in Thursday, do some stuff, and then I'm basically just not showing up on Friday because... Eh. It's fine. That's the academic world. If you're not teaching, and if you don't have any meetings, and if you don't have anything that you actually need to do, it doesn't really matter if you're on campus or not, as long as you're, you know, maybe available by email to answer any questions, or to, uh, You know, take care of any issues that come up. So what am I even doing right now? I guess trying to recruit more people. I've been getting lots of archers. I got a few... Actually, I'm kind of wondering now if... Um, the ship boat guy... Is continuing on. There is that one more portal, and I need to um, shore up my defenses more. Actually, ooh, I didn't drop a single coin there. I need to shore up my defenses a little more before I destroy that last portal. So actually, yeah, we- oh, right, so I have both of those walls. That's kind of what I was planning on, uh, shoring up. Um, okay, no, maybe we just attack. I have so much money in the bank and so much money on my character physically. That even if this goes poorly, it's not going to be game over. Okay, these guys are- Fine, looks like. Um, but yeah, I am really curious to see how things are with the boat. I don't know if any builders managed to get out there. No. Whoa! Alright, so I guess... They must have been shooting any animals that go by. Boy, that coin just doesn't want to stay in the bag. Nope. Fell out again. That's amazing. I've never... Okay, now it's just gone. Game ogre.
Okay. Whoa, there's even a grabby guy. I don't like that. Kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him. Good. Alright, we're still in good shape. I mean, my bag is much lighter. Do we still have everyone? One, two, three, four, five archers? I'm not sure how many we started with. Six is the theoretical maximum that we could have had. But yeah, once we destroy this portal... Okay. Actually, they do have quite a distance to run. Um, that's good, though, that I recruited three people. Okay, horse running out of juice. We are out of stamina. Uh, I'm sure that we'll be fine, fundamentally. We have a lot of people to cover our own retreat. Yeah, there's always the portal, too. Yeah, you know what? Let's do it. Let's, uh... Take the portal back at least as far as this area. Oh, damn. There. That's better than nothing. Ah, horse still hasn't eaten, apparently. Come on, you lazy ungulate. I don't even know if horses are ungulates. I think they are. Yeah? Yes, no, maybe. Let's recruit anybody um, available at our little recruitment stop. Three! Nice. I think I actually want to make a couple builders. And then... Shore this stuff up a bit. So we've lost one knight on the left. That doesn't bode well. Left might be collapsing. But the other knight hasn't died yet. So the situation must not be too desperate. Let's at least grab any coins we can from these farmers. I expect the right flank here is going to collapse. Alright, I think that is all the farmers. So let's feed up a little on grass. We can always take the portal if we need... No, the portal would take us to the right. Wrong direction, that would be. 
Oh, where are you going? I know where you're going. Going to die. Huh. Huh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Yeah, I'm sure he's trying to go to the ship. So this is a blood moon, maybe? No, it, it must not be. It must just be a normal retaliation wave. I'm not going to run anymore until we run into the enemies. So I need to make sure my stamina is as high as possible. Because there's just no grass. Those guys are never going to make it, but I would feel silly if I just ignored them. I don't understand, like, is this on sort of a delayed timer kind of thing? There's no way that they already defeated the wave, so it must still be coming. Well, that's the end of the map. All right, let's uh, fuel up. Or maybe the retaliation only struck on the left because there were no more portals on the right. That could make sense. In which case, my builders should already be running to the ship. I don't think there's anything I could have done faster in that regard. Yeah, you guys are moving. I could definitely use a bit more money, though. No, I can't launch. Where are my knights? I'm very confused. What the hell happened here? No farmers here. I still haven't encountered any enemies. Oh, crap. And that's right where the grass was that I was going to refill on. Probably not going to help at all. I have no coins. Alright, I really should just be running. I might win, I might not win. It's hard to say. It all depends on whether the uh, ship can get me to safety in time. So that wall is still up. 
that's what's going to be my last bastion of defense. These three archers and that wall. Well, those three archers too, but uh, enemies will just sprint past them. So the problem here is that those big troll guys spawn the little greed guys. And if they have a lot of distance to walk, the trolls I mean, they will have spawned so many greeds that no defense can take them. They, they'll just steamroll through anything. Alright, so we have, it looks like, two builders. Oh, thank god. Okay, a couple coins. Not gonna make a difference, most likely. It's better than nothing. Oh, you know, we're still really far, though. From the pier. Or I guess it could be worse. Honestly, guys, I think we may have lost this. If I had more builders, that would have been good. If I had knights escorting this, I would actually... Well, I wouldn't really feel confident, but I would feel slightly more... I'd feel slightly less pessimistic, put it that way. Actually, no, I do have three builders, I just realized. So this is moving at maximum speed. It's just that maximum speed is still painfully slow and definitely much slower than the Greeds. I'm tempted to run left just to see where the enemies are, but I only have three co or sorry, two coins. So maybe I will just walk. Preserve my stamina. So my defenses are not going to keep them for long. I know it's not really in the spirit of the game, but I wish that there were some kind of option to give yourself a mini-map. Just to, you know, even something very simple, just with colors on it, just showing like, okay, this much, like, sort of like a progress bar when I talk about, like, just colors on it. Like, enemies have taken this much of your territory, that sort of thing. couple coins. So they haven't even actually reached this wall yet. I have one builder. I could tell him to try to build that wall, but I don't think there'd be any point. There's... There can't be enough time. Surely. If it were a lower level wall, maybe, but not the highest level. I'm starting to feel confident. If the enemy haven't gotten to that wall by now, that either means that they did get stopped, although I think we're still in the eternal nighttime. I might be wrong. Maybe I haven't been paying attention. Um, yeah, we would be hearing those, like, church bells if it were actually daytime right now. So the enemy is still on the map. Ooh, the boat's covered quite a lot of... Well, I guess I can't literally say it's covered a lot of ground. Right, but, uh... A lot of distance. Yeah, we got this. Oh, sh shrimp. I don't have enough coins, though. Um, the deer. The deer. There might be enough deer there. Uh, 
If not, my only hope is to herd more deer over there for my archers. I'm going to run out of stamina at this rate. I don't see any deer. Okay. I'll just hope that there are enough. Actually, deer give three coins, don't they? Yeah, yeah, there definitely are enough coins then. Oh, thank God. Well, that was by the skin of our teeth. Oh my God. So it looks like just one map left. That's what we'll start in the next episode. Alright, good night, sleep tight, and don't let the greed bite. Bye-bye.